touching one another. Okay, start. Now. Sorry. Start, start. Now. Uh, welcome to Remainder Theorem. How many of you don't like long division? Okay. Okay. Now. Thank you, uh, thank you. Okay. Can I talk? Can you listen? Can I talk? Okay. Long division got its place. You need long division no matter what. But remainder theorem is here to save our day. Okay? I repeat. Remainder theorem is here to save our day. Now, let me describe remainder theorem to you. Remainder theorem, the idea is to find what? Ah, very good. If this one you don't understand, uh, I also don't know how already. Now, can you write down? Remainder theorem is to find remainder without long division. Interested or not? Huh? Not interested. Uh? Meaning, meaning you prefer to find remainder using long division. Uh? Oh, there I got nothing to say. Uh. Yes. I show you this question can use remainder theorem easily without long division. Ready? But you need long division. You need long division in some questions. But in some questions, no need. When I'm only interested in the remainder, no need. So let's start. Let's start. I don't care whether you use theorem or long, use long division, but I will use long. I will use theorem. I will not use long division. Okay, let's start. Let's start. I say again, if the question only wants remainder, I you can use long division or theorem. I don't care. I just need a remainder. Okay. Now, do you know? This question is on page 5, example 4. Do you know? Do you agree? Okay. Now, can you go back to this page and tell me what is the remainder? Matthew, I'm not going to sign the book. Uh, remainder is what? 3, right? This remainder is 3, right? Do you agree that I have to do something like that? And go through the painful process of writing here, then this is 3. Agree? Is that what is on your paper? Okay, good. Can you help me over here write 3? Write 3. But do you agree this is by magic? Because this one is from, I copy from the previous page, is 3, right? But how do I get 3? So, can. Can I, can I present to you remainder theorem? Can I? Now, remainder theorem is this. Step number one. I will always let fx be whatever I want to divide. Digested? Digested, huh? Step number two. When fx is divided... Oh, by the way, uh, fx is called function of x. This is called function x. Now, what does function mean? Function, Xin Hui. What does function mean? Function means a container. Function means a container. Meaning to say, uh, how many functions can there be? 26. Because it can be A bracket x, B bracket x, C bracket x, right? So, F bracket x is a name. A name. So, this name is called F. Later on, can there be GX? Yes. This container is called G. Uh, no, no, no. This F is an alphabet. Alphabet, uh, only, only alphabet. Don't bring a number. Uh, very, com very com confusing. Now, when Fx is divided by x minus 2, we say that let x minus 2 is equal to 0. Is this difficult? No. And what is the value of x? 2. Is it difficult? No, because I bring the negative 2 over, right? But what I'm going to show you next is magic. Ready? Okay. I'm going to write this down. F bracket 2. Do you know what it means? 
can you write down it means you have to replace x equals to 2 in fx can you write down can you write down okay fx actually means a num a, a, a container this container is called fx f it's just like this water bottle is called nike right this is n bracket x all right this container is called px this is called poka right p bracket x it's just container the x is the water inside the liquid inside all right so i'm telling you fx means what it's a function it's a name f but inside contain x then I, I i never bluff you inside contain what 2x square minus 13x plus 21 this container contain x okay it's just a way of writing okay now uh, I, I let me finish this uh. Uh, i haven't told you the theorem right this is a theorem uh. f bracket 2 equals can you write down equals remainder this is the theorem theorem means what theorem means something not logical but suddenly yeah uh, the answer uh, is always true that's the theorem let me quote you a theorem that you learned last year a square plus b square equal c square this is what theorem pythagoras theorem who 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 say must be like that why not a square minus b square equals c square because pythagoras says so and pythagoras managed to prove everything we just use the theorem you understand now huh proof already proof proven that's another topic pythagoras theorem is correct huh? it's proven same thing remainder theorem is proven but let's prove now equal to what i want to sub in x equals to 2 into all the x here so what do i write Jing Feng. 2 bracket what? 2 square Jing Feng, minus 13 bracket 2 plus 21 equal 3 no need to even calculate you press calculator is it 3? is it 3? huh? substitution method but but they call they call it remainder theorem why is it theorem because ah uh, you will ask me teacher what are you talking what are you talking what do i mean by sub x equals to two uh, come out is remainder but i show you every time it is the remainder you understand are you okay huh simple right why must it be 2? Simple, because divide by x minus 2. Then, I let x minus 2 be 0, x equals to 2. If I divide by x minus 3, x equals to 3. If, if I divide by x plus 1, x equals to negative 1. I, I will show you a few more examples. Allow me to, to show you more examples, Ken. Okay, Gerald, do you understand why x equals to 2 now? because of x minus 2 right but can i show you a few more example so that you are used to the theorem okay start uh is this is this the is this the is this the question on the previous page okay sorry uh, uh to to make you believe the magic can i talk can i talk yeah to make you believe the magic, can I go back to practice for? Everyone, can you give me your attention? Jashen, the fun. Okay, look at practice for. Uh. If I want practice for, I apply remainder theorem. Uh. You have done your, you have done your long division, right? Okay, so let's try. Can you, everyone, write this down? Let gx b 4x square minus 7x minus 160 can you write this down do you understand why is it gx okay gx is just an alphabet i like g uh. 
can be alphabet. But don't use X, ah. Don't tell me X, X, ah. Or tell me Y, X. X and Y are reserved for coordinates. Very good. So when divide by zero, when zero, when G, X is divided by X minus seven, what do you do? I will let X minus seven be equals to zero. X is equals to seven. So what do I do? I will put G seven inside. Whatever comes out will be the remainder, and hence this is called remainder theorem. Do you get minus thirteen? Very good. So this is the remainder. So let me summarize the lesson by answering Minyan's question. Ready? If question asks for quotient, ready? Yeah. If question asks for quotient, can you use remainder theorem? No. If the question asks for what is the quotient, can you use remainder theorem? No. But question asks you what is the remainder? Ah, yeah. uh, use remainder theorem, lah. Can you use long division to find remainder? Can, can. Up to you, lah. Up to you. Right. I use five minutes to complete remainder theorem, and because I remove the textbook question, can you help me to do this as homework? It's so easy that some of you already complete. Can you do page six, page seven as homework? Of your notes, can I go through tomorrow? Ah, uh, not the textbook. Ah, uh, not only the notes. Can if textbook, then you will kill me. <laughs>